another day on the canal with all the little struggles that we have to deal with hello darlings it's may here and i'm back with another boaty vlog this weekend i've been prepping for the winter months i've made a little sleeping bag for my starter battery baked a scrummy sourdough banana bread with my chef free air fryer and did a bunch of half jobs to prevent water coming into my boat. Yup, still leaking. It's endless, it's exhausting, and I'm doing it all on my own. Thank goodness I have you lot. Stick with me on my journey and I'll show you the real highs and lows of narrow boat life. All you gotta do is subscribe. Good afternoon, still at Kirtlington Quarry. I absolutely love it here. It is such a beautiful place. I have got a few things that I need to crack on with today. Um, unfortunately, I still have leaks in my boat. After months of working so hard on my windows, I still got a leak in one of my windows. But you know what? Like, I'm a complete novice. I'm actually kind of impressed it's only one window that's still leaking. So I've got like a relatively quick fix for that for now. My hatches still leaking, absolutely gutted. I think I might need to weld on a lip to prevent the rain from even getting close to it. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know what to do. But I'm gonna do a quick fix on that to get me through winter. Another mission is I want to create a little bed for my starter battery to make sure that the starter battery is nice and warm throughout winter. So I'm going to cover it in insulation and give that a go. All right, so here's my conundrum with the windows. I'm going to be asking your advice on some window stuff and insulating the inside of it. Uh, yeah, call out to boat people to... DIY handy men and women please keep watching this video because yeah I need some I need some advice on what options to take. This is filming the introduction of this video. I have no idea where this video is going, so who knows what could happen. <laughs> As always, first things first, tidy up the engine room. <laughs> attempt to fix a leak that I created after a catastrophic morning of no internet freaking out I had a fiddle with my antenna box and roof stuff and uh, created a leak Don't. again another temporary fix because I'm gonna be painting my roof uh, next year so I don't want to do like really good job right now and do it properly i just want to get it to a point where i'm not having to worry about leaks really hope that's not a rain cloud let's say i knew it was gonna rain ah! No! <laughs> this is why you don't mess around with things in the autumn winter because the weather is so unreliable. <sighs> what to do now?
Last winter, I had a bit of difficulty with my engine. I had two new starter batteries, a gearbox failure and a coolant leak. I need a pen! It can get very cold in the engine room during winter, so I'm hoping a thermal sleeping bag will increase the battery life and then there's at least one less thing to worry about as the frost and ice descend. Alrighty, let's see if this works. Gonna have to take the stuff off the battery. Okay. My socket wrench kit is a pile of crap. Doesn't have the right bit on the end. Thank God for neighbours, eh? This one will do. Unfortunately, the thickness of this is too wide to now fit the front of it. E by gum, I did it. Battery warm. Okay, second layer is on. It's going to be a dry night, cold night, but dry. So I think I'll get the silicon in tomorrow and just cover this up for now. Look at that! Woohoo! Now the evenings are getting darker, one of my favourite things to do is cook! I don't know if you've ever cooked on an agar, but it's not like cooking in a normal oven. Also, I prefer to use the heat to stay warm rather than bake cakes. Whoever invented this teeny tiny oven is my new best friend. Even master multitaskers who are trying to film and cook make a mess. Can't even lick it. Sourdough starter. My fave feature has to be the size. She should be called the TARDIS air fryer because she's small on the outside and big on the inside. my Chefri air fryer and I thought it was about time to put it to the test and I heard that you can make bread and you can make cakes and there's so much that you can actually do with this thing so I'm gonna give it a go. going to cook so quickly that I don't even know if I'm going to have time to do the washing up before it's ready. What I seek I am, what I want to know I understand, all I wish I could I can, all I want to be I am. Save yourself 30 quid on one of these bad boys and use the link below in the description to grab a bargain. Be prepared to throw your old oven in the canal.
Please don't do that, I was only joking. Oh my god. Look at that banana bread. Holy crap. Let's test her. Is she actually cooked? Ooh la la. She's cooked. And now it's time to chill the F out. A little bit of eating and a little bit of reading. I am so tired. <sighs> yeah, low energy day today. Um... And it can be really frustrating because the weather's great. <laughs> I've got the time. And yet my energy and my body is just like, no, no more. I really want to get these windows started. But I think I'm going to have to bow out. Or maybe have a nap and then see what happens. A few hours later, I seal me holes and stick flash tape in every gap. This is Future May's job, to do it right and proper. Today is not the day for right and proper. If water even tries to get in now... Oh... What happens is water travels down here, falls into this gap here, comes down, dribbles into the gaps that are here. So anyone got any idea what I could do, what I could fashion onto the sides here that I think it needs to be on the boat, it needs to sit flush with this to stop water coming in. Oh, it's just a bit of a nightmare, really. I'm oh, feeling a little bit frustrated. The um, the cover won't fit over the hatch now because I think me sealing it has made it a little bit bigger, like pushes pushed out a little bit. Um, and now the crap, the cover is not fitting over it properly. But I'm just gonna leave it and hopefully get it stuck down properly when I'm actually on that side. And I can maybe get two people to like want to pull, want to push the poppers in. <sighs> Another day on the canal with all the little struggles that we have to deal with. All right, so here's my conundrum with the windows. Do I put in expanding foam for insulation or do I use the insulation I used around the starter battery? Pros of using the expanding foam, it will be a lot quicker. Messier, yes, but I can put tape around the frames to protect them. Using the more professional insulation will take quite a bit more time, chopping it up, fitting it piece by piece. It's quite a lot of work to do there. I feel like I'm racing against time a little bit with the condensation building up. The aluminium frames are completely soaking wet in the mornings and I am every morning getting a towel and rubbing them down, rubbing my lovely freshly painted steel because uh, that's all wet as well on the inside. And then of course it's drafty. So yeah, I'm a little bit not in the headspace to make any decisions right now. I think I am going to have a little play and faff around with this window and get reacquainted with them on the inside and tackle this project another time. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my journey. And a special thanks to Rob H, Martin, David, Kevin, Paul, Bex, Ian, Don in Utah, Mark, Slogan6, Aid, JJ, 
and Donald for your kindness. You keep this channel alive. Thank you. See you next week for more adventures and maybe a different location. Ooh, bye.